Hey guys, this is Philatelli. Um, welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2, episode 13. Um, if you've seen episode 12 and had a read through some of the comments, you'll see in there that I was posting that I was going to stop doing the YouTube thing uh, for various reasons, but as it turns out, I'm not. I'm carrying on, so it's episode 13. But what it does mean is that during my little period of downtime, I carried on playing this game and moved on quite a bit. So this episode is going to be a bit of a catch up, might do a short trip depending on what jobs are available. But let's have a look around at what I've done. So I started my company. I've still only got the one garage in Manchester, but I've got a new guy called Steve, who's got an amazing guilty bird. And he's been pretty good for me so far in a few jobs. I've got him doing long distance training because he was, when I recruited him, he already had one. Um, one thing in there and also Reese is doing really well he's up to 3.3 and uh, he's he's been a busy boy making me lots of money um, so when I recruited Steve I gave him my old truck like I did with, with Reese and I've got myself this Renault premium truck which I, I really like. It's, it seems a bit nippier than the Scania one and most importantly it's got an indicator on the dashboard as to what the cruise control speed is set at which is really helpful for me. So I'm very happy with this truck. I do need to paint it up a bit. It's just a standard stock one. Uh, I'm up to level 8, with nearly up to level 9. I added a long distance one um, which opened up quite a bit of more of the map for me actually. Um, if we look at the world map, you can see that I've been all sort of through the middle of Europe, down to Bratislava, back up to Prague. I'm in Prague at the minute. And I'm working towards setting up a second base. I thought about upgrading my base in Manchester to five drivers, but kind of isolated a bit over there. I want somewhere right in slap bang in the middle of um, Europe. So I'm going to buy a, a base in Frankfurt. See one that I want already. It's £144,000. It's for three men. Um, I've currently got 81000 in the bank. Or rather, in the company. Uh, I can borrow 40,000, so I've got 122,000. So, probably in the next couple of trips, I'll be able to afford that. I should probably wait though, because I might be able to buy a base, but then not actually be able to buy a truck for a driver. And I'm not sure if drivers who don't have trucks just do quick jobs or, or what, to be honest. Uh, you probably let me know in the comments if you know. Uh, if I can recruit someone and they'll just do quick jobs like like we did at the start of the game, then that'd be perfect. Uh, what else to explain? Probably I've made some changes to the control system. So I'll just pick a job and then explain the changes that I've made there. So I'm in Prague at the minute. Somewhere short. Bratislava was miles away, that took ages. I think that was a, a five hour trip. It's like this one's the shortest one, but I'm going to go a long way around for some reason. Uh, let's do that one. It's also the best paid, so that's always nice. Yeah, so I've made some changes to the controls for some comments that I had on some videos and on Reddit. Um, so I I think I saw you saw in the last video that I changed the mouse control for steering. Someone advised me to to reduce the sensitivity, which worked great for when I was using a mouse, but most of the time I'm actually using the trackpad. So it wasn't so good for that. I'm using the trackpad now. 
sat in the kitchen whilst the wife's in the living room watching TV. Yeah, so, so since I don't need the A and the D key for steering anymore, I've rearranged my controls. So basically, all I need to worry about, more or less everything that I use regularly is accessible from with my left hand, and then my right hand is just for steering. And also I've got the right mouse button, so that uh, that controls the, mouth, the camera rather than um, rather than the steering wheel. So I've got a standard W and S uh, doing forward and backwards, and then A and D do my indicators, and then Q and E do my looking left and right, as do one and three, and then two corrects that. Oh, so it gets me back in this. Um, this viewpoint and then I've got let's just make this turn for so I don't crash yeah and then I've got C control and cruise switch now on and off cruise control uh, let's just shut on. And like I say, with this truck, I've got an indicator which is just sort of on the right hand side of the dashboard, that's the speedo. Um, let me just keep toggling it off and on again. You see now it's out, it says 55, and then it's 0, 55, 0. So that's good. And then I've also got X doing my wipers, and Z switching my engine off, which I don't want to do. <laughs> On <laughs> the motorway, oops. I was going to move over there, but the guy's steaming up underneath me, undertaking. Naughty boys. And, uh, what else have I done without you guys? I, I did my first fuel up, my first ever refuel of a truck. Uh, I need to do another one soon, actually, by the looks of it. Yeah, so the last I recruited the two new drivers before I passed on my old trucks before I've had to refuel them. So I've only refueled once. Um, I'm an hour and a half away from even picking up this load. What's, what's my uh, rest in town? Next first stop in four hours with students. Stop! Well, I thought I was going to have to do some crazy driving then. Four oh, hours, fifty minutes, that might be too... Too much for that job, maybe. Don't want to see. Just one percent damage to my truck, which I think is just wear and tear. I don't... That was not red, that was amber. Yeah, I don't recall crashing uh, with this truck since I last had it fixed. I did have a major crash. I was playing the game and <laughs> driving somewhere. I think I was driving to. Uh, I can't remember where I was going or where I was even going from. Oh, uh, oh. Let me get my mouse out. <laughs> oh, I haven't got it. That don't work. Yes. Uh, come on. These guys speeding around the corner. Crazy, crazy fools. Yeah, maybe I will. Uh, only even last when I'm recording because it is pretty wild. I thought I got used to it with the trackpad actually, but maybe the pressure of recording and talking is ruining me. Uh, what 
was the same. Oh yeah, I had a major crash um, on a job, which it was only a short job. It was for three and a half thousand, and I was driving along, and I got a real life text. And I was just responding to it, only, you know, half watching. And that had a major crash. I up to from 0% damage to 20% damage on my truck doing this 3.5k job and ended up having to spend 8,000 quid fixing it up, which I was not happy about. Very, very irritated. So don't drink, don't, don't drink, don't text and drive virtually or actually. <laughs> uh, chicken. What else is going on? Let's put cruise control so I can do that without having to stretch all my fingers. Getting so I'm just an hour away from picking up this load. Do you need to sleep? Well, I might get away with that actually. Maybe. Ooh, income. 1500 quid. Nice. Reese is doing really well for me. He's, um, I think I read somewhere that as part of the 1.3 update, they made some changes so that. Um, it was more likely for drivers to find a job on return journeys. So I think beforehand, quite often your know, drivers would do a job and then be unable to find a job for the way back. The other good thing about this truck is that it does brake quite quickly. It seems much more responsive than the other than the Scandinavian trucks. Nice train. Hello, cargo rail. Cool. Um, I forgot what I was saying again. Oh yes, Steve's doing really well for me. He's <coughs> make, yeah. So with one point three, they made a change, so it was more likely for drivers to find to pick up a job on the return journey. So I think Reese has had a couple of times why are you breaking? Come on the barriers are up, you can go. You don't stop on the uh, on the level crossing. You die doing that. So I, th yeah. I think Reese has had two return return journeys where he's not been able to find a job, and Steve I think has had one. It's not it's not too big a deal uh, if they can't it cost you it cost you a bit of money because you have to pay for the fuel. So you do lose out on the jobs. I had a Reese do a job on for me as well, just travel just delivering somewhere within Manchester. But because it was the same town, he, uh, they, the driver charges me a fixed amount plus uh, an amount per mile. So he did this job in going from Manchester to Manchester. That actually ended up costing me a tenner. And I was thinking, well, why would you, why have you done that? That's just crazy. I felt like docking him some wages, but you can't, it's not that kind of game. <laughs> So let's just go down here and pick up this load and I'll probably sleep here. Well, let's pick it up. Let's check it out and see what the ETA is. The expected time of arrival is. If it's, if it's going to be tight and it's a long way away, I might not bother. It's like bulldozer icon. I wonder. On the 
Root advisor down the bottom left. I don't think I've seen that one before. Okay, anyway, form to view job offer. So it's expected Saturday morning. It's Friday afternoon. Yeah, I could probably do that. And sleep. It's uh, heavy and standard. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't like these ones that are in a quarry. It feels like you've got to go miles out of town to pick up the load and they're traveling around. Yeah, I'm going to rest down. Is that what the bulldozer is? No, that's so bad, isn't it? I don't know what the bulldozer thing is. Yeah, I and mean, it's not the quarry. It's, it's not clear from the map which way is the right way to go. Usually, quite a way out of town. Like this was an hour and forty minutes away from from Prague. Although I don't think I was right in this. I don't think I was in Prague itself. Whoa! Don't want to take out the tractor. It's quite fun speeding down the hills. It's a trail and away we go. It's four hours fifty six. It's the rest in 3 hours 12 and that's all I have to rest. I'm sure I'll find somewhere a bit closer. I'm not going to rest just yet. I might also need to refuel. I think that's saying I've got 386 miles remaining worth of petrol. Maybe. Sounds about right. 189 miles away. So, don't need to worry about that. I think that's what it's saying. The Scania truck did have a good remaining petrol counter. So, you know, pros and cons. But, I like to know when cruise control is on and what it's set up. I'm finding that one of the big problems I have with this game is get caught speeding all the time. Especially <coughs> driving an English truck around Europe because my truck is in miles per hour and the speed signs are in kilometers per hour. So let's do some mental maths and then just guess. I reckon I've probably spent four thousand pounds maybe on. Um, speed and fines. Cold time. Especially because it's, it's quite hard to see the road signs. When you're, when you're flying down the motorway at 55 miles an hour, the road signs do sort of fly past. I saw a post on the Reddit suggesting that a well, what they do is they pause the game as the sign approaches using F1. Like that. To see. To, to read the, the speed limit. But I'd rather just risk the fine. <laughs> I'm not a patient fellow. So yeah, so I commented as I started off by saying about me stopping doing this YouTube thing and I decided I'm going to give it a proper go instead. And there's some games coming out soon which I'm quite excited about. 
specifically. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. I need a mouse. Otherwise, I'm just going to drop my over there. Yeah, specifically the new Tomb Raider, which looks amazing. And also New Sim City, which also looks great. So I'm thinking about doing a playthrough of those. I think Tomb Raider uh, will, you know, will be a finite series. don't know how long the game is. I don't know how long it'll take me. But, and then I'm thinking Sim City could potentially be quite a long running series similar to this or well, my ideas behind this so I'm talking about doing those and I, f I did succumb to temptation I've resisted for months but I finally caved in last week and bought Football Manager 2013 and I like Football Manager games I played 2010 I think I had 2009, 2010, 2011. I played well, just a demo of 2011. And played them for a bit, but it's the kind of game where you've got to really sort of concentrate. And you know, there's lots of stats to take in, and you've got to really think about it. It's not a relaxing game to play, I don't think. But 2013 brought out this, or included this classic mode where it's kind of like a trimmed down version so yeah I think you can access all the stats that you need that you could in a normal game but there's not no requirement to so you don't have to take press conferences press conferences or you can you know it's just a bit more more restricted is not the right word a bit less involved I guess a bit simpler so I've been playing that a bit I um, I might, I might do some gameplay of that, but probably not for a while, at least not until I've done Tomb Raider. I've got other games that I want to do as well, um, but we'll see. And I also want to do some shout outs uh, on this, so I recently joined a forum called the YouTube Community, which is great, full of YouTubers offering great tips. Small, similar channels to myself, quite small and growing. Um, if you're if you're a smaller YouTuber and you're not on there, then or even if you're a big YouTuber, actually, especially if you're a big YouTuber and you're not on there, then it would be great to see you over there. Um, it's a forum, primarily a forum, but there's also chat boxes in there, so it's really it's really a place. And it's not just it's not just gaming YouTubers either. Is there's musicians, artists, lots of different gamers as well. Quite a lot of Call of Duty guys on there, I think. Quite a few Minecrafters, and also FIFA guys. Uh, but it's good. So I'll link to that in the description. Ooh. It's uh, sorry, am I boring you? Go on in. How long have we got left? On our thirty-six. Okay. I'm just going to stop at the next services and probably call that an end to the video. Finish the job off camera. Ah, and as if by magic, there's the services coming up. So let me know if you have any preferences of um, what games you'd like to see me play. Uh, any of those that I mentioned or any others that you know about. I, I like FIFA, I like Call of Duty. I don't own either of them though. So whilst I um, would be happy to play them, you have to wait a bit till I've bought them. I'm a bit skint at the minute. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, just filling up the tank. Do, 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 do. Not talking on the mobile phone. Not lighting any fires. Excellent. Tank is full. Which is at 850 quid. Fine. Last me a long time now. And then I'm going to pull up here. And 
rest before I do that, let's just see what Stephen is up to. Driver manager. Use is on duty, excellent. From Rotterdam to Manchester. Mission 12 hours. Delivering ice cream. <laughs> That'd be a nice profit though. Steve's delivering logs from Manchester to Manheim. Wow, that's a long job, isn't it? 29 hours. Pardon Where's Manheim? Is it in Germany? I need a map to that. Manheim, yes. Yeah. No, that's taking 29 hours. Strange. Ooh, we've explored 18% as well. Excellent. So. Let's rest there and call it a night for me as well. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to comment and like and whatnot. And see you next time. Bye bye.